running. There he is, blood, gore, intense, violent, nudity. I just want to make sure my audio is okay. Hello, hey, everybody, how's and going? welcome to this pregame show for this week's 1,000 point game of Warhammer 40K. Yay! As with all pregame shows, if you want to jump straight into the action, skipping over army intros, game descriptions, and all that, check out the link down below and jump straight in. That'll be the game. Otherwise, stick around. We're going to go over our armies, which are Imperial Guard and Necrons. And then the game, which we are going to be doing a meat grinder. So. Yes. A narrative story. Well, a narrative play. Yes. So, for that, let's jump straight into army intros. Yay! All right, so here is my 1,000-point battalion detachment of Necrons for this engagement. Uh, I guess I'll start with my overlord, uh, playing my warlord right there. He's bringing along with him a Staff of Light. His warlord trait is going to be Enduring Will, and uh, he's bringing along the relic Veil of Darkness. Uh, next down the line, I'll go with my Cryptek, uh, which will be a stand-in model right there. He's bringing along a Staff of Light as well. Next is going to be my two groups of warriors, who are uh, just plain Jane warriors. Uh, then the Im group of five Immortals on the left, and group of five death marks on the right. Uh, and lastly, I'm bringing along a Ghost Ark and a Treyarch Stalker with twin heavy Goss cannons. And that's my 1,000 point army. Okay folks, here is my 1,000 points of Imperial Guard Battalion Detachment. This is precisely 1,000. And a uh, Vanguard de a Detachment of in, uh, Imperial Agents. So, starting off, this is going to be my warlord. He's a company commander. He has a bolt gun. He has the Voskayan um, relic, that is the two-up armor save. Uh, and he will have the grand strategist warlord trait. Since I didn't say it, my army, the uh, battalion detachment, is Voskayan. Uh, which gives all of my 24-inch range heavy weapons and rapid-fire weapons plus 6 to their range. So, pretty solid. My second HQ is another company commander. He will have the relic that gives a 5-up 1 command point on whenever an opponent uses a, a stratagem. I forgot the name of that off the head. It's something reliquary. For three troop choices, I have three infantry squads. Each one of them has a Vox caster. These two have grenade launchers, and the sergeants have last pistols and chain swords. For an elite choice, I have a company command squad with a Vox caster, plasma gun. This guy is going to be subbing for a sniper because I just didn't have enough points for the heavy flamer. And this guy will be a medic. I have a heavy support, which is three heavy weapons dudes in one team. They will all have auto cannons. Fast attack choice is a Hellhound with his Inferno cannon and a heavy bolter. Another heavy support is a Punisher battle tank with his Punisher cannon, two plasma cannons, and a heavy bolter. I have a Flyer, which is a Valkyrie with a multi laser and uh, multi rocket pods. And that finishes off the battalion for my Vanguard. Uh, the HQ for that one is an, an Order of Xenos Inquisitor with a bolt pistol, bolt gun, and he'll be a Psyker with the Terrify Psychic Power. I have two Vindicator Assassins uh, with their standard weapons, and then I will have an Astropath with the Night Shroud Psychic Power, and he has a Laz Pistol. And that is my 1,000 points of Vashkayan Guard with Imperial Agents. Alright, and here we are deployed for the Meat Grinder mission. Uh, we rolled and determined that the Necrons will be the attacker for this engagement. In this particular engagement, it is the Necrons' duty to push across the board and eliminate every single Guardsman. 
that is on the board. Uh, for the defender, uh, you got concealed deployment, which means I got to deploy all my units via markers to represent where they are. Uh, Mike had to then deploy afterwards, and he chose to put pretty much everything on the right flank. Only his uh, death marks are in hyperspace reserve to arrive and cause whatever trouble they can. And yeah, it's a victory condition if Mike can eliminate everyone, and if I have one guy left at the end of the game, I win. Yep. So now it's the, I guess, roll off to see who goes first, or? Yeah, yeah I think. Oh. It's a single dice. On a one, two, or three, you get it. On a four, five, or six, I get it. Okay. Uh, first three, yes. One, two, or three, the attacker gets it. Do you want to roll? Um, sure. All right, so let's see if I go first for... Five. You go. It will be a defender start. So, in this one, there are a couple things... Uh, after the turns have been decided, Mike will get a chance to do a preliminary bombardment once I've revealed my uh, forces with some artillery stuff in the background. Uh, and then he also has, whenever one of his units dies, there's a chance they come back. Yes. Outside of the standard Necron yeah. flavor. The guards are holding a valiant defense as a tomb world descending wave after wave of yep. things. Yeah. So it should be pretty interesting to see if whether Mike can successfully kill all of these guardsmen in max seven turns. Yeah. Least about a, amount of models per unit. Most amount of models per unit. All right, so I will go ahead and reveal the armory, and we can take care of the preliminary bombardments. No, we shall save that for... The game start. Yeah, game start. So I will reveal my army, and then that will pretty much be it for the pregame. Sounds like a plan. Okay, and here is the defenders all deployed. Vindicator assassin up there, some guardsmen with a grenade launcher, the uh, Punisher tank, command squad with the company commander, that is the warlord, other grenade squad, heavy weapons team, hellhound in the tucked in corner down there that's kind of hard to see is the astropath. On this side, Vindicator assassin, another company commander. And the Valkyrie, which has the remaining guard squad and the Inquisitor in it. And that is the Defenders, and this is the end of the pregame show. We'll be jumping right into turn one in the game. Check out the link in the description down below.